Hey, hello developers, welcome back to v 11 This is a full stack level videos um, e-commerce development tutorial series and this is a big series I'm going to do. As you know, this is um, a big structure. I am doing the big structure for this project and in this previous videos I showed you how we can do the routing and store for accounts module and I will try to do the same thing for the products module. Now, as you can see, this is a premium project and and also free projects uh, and there will be a lot of free videos and only few of them are will be free so uh, sorry premium so you can watch it completely for free but even if you want to do the some some support so you can go ahead and become a premium member and here you can see I have uploaded the projects in my GitLab uh, account and you can download if you're a premium member you can download the project so far done now and here I see a lot of people has been uh, has sent requests to um, join the group but the problem is that they could not uh, that they don't answer the questions uh, i asked and also you need to know that in order to join this group you actually there's 37 people has um, sent a request so if you are uh, willing to become a premium member and a member of this group you need to pay some amount which is 25 but you can pay as much as you can using paypal or uh, if you, if paypal is not supported you can use um credit card or visa and you can t uh, text me on facebook right away i can try to help okay so never mind so let me just tell you what is the advantage if you are becoming a member and if not a member so if you are not a member you will have access to our free group so that i can from there on i will also try to help you as much as i can but in this uh, e-commerce development uh, premium group you can actually get one-to-one uh, -one chat with me as well so one-to-one -one chat uh, and then i will try to help as quickly as possible although being uh, busy uh, working with uh, with the dead job i will try to answer as many um, as quickly as possible and thank you now let's go ahead and try to do the same thing with the product modules and that we did for the account so for the product module what we need to do we need to come in as a uh, njs folder we will have the similar structure and we will call it router uh, inside the router we can make one for index.js and the same way we will make a um, store and we will make a store file index.js okay that's fine and what we just need to do is we will just copy paste some uh, code already we already did so let's do the routing for the uh, for the first time uh, for the accounts module we will do the routing okay so here uh, for the account modules we already did so let's just copy paste those things uh, very much simply and um, Okay, so let's take this uh, router index.js and copy that and let's check it out if we have router index we have router for product module so let's copy that as well and here we will change it to product and test let's give it test and here component um, let's change it to product test page and make it this one this one okay and here we need to make a, a folder called components components and inside the component file we just need to make a, a view file and there oh, there you go we just can have a template very much simple things we're just testing things out and definitely we will be testing uh, the other uh, other advanced things like uh, request validations and other important validations okay uh, and we will structure the project and then after we have a good sound structure we will start the project okay this is from products so it, no matter if you're a free member if you cannot afford and if you are a uh, free member and have confusion go ahead in our uh, development with epifylf group you, you can actually ask your question there and i will try to help you as much as i can okay as quickly as uh, uh, as it possible okay okay so i do have um the uh, router page here now i just need to use that okay so how do we use that make sure we just have to use it in the router the main this is the main routing file and we are just simply um exporting this one and we will be using it here okay so we just need to uh, change the module parts and we will make it like products modules that's all we just need to change and we can say instead of account right we can say products uh, routes and all we just need to do is uh, edit here 
that's all. We are merging all the routes here. We could have done it um, dynamically again, but I will not do that. It's uh, really slow down your pro, uh, coding, so because it takes time to compile. Okay, that's nice. Uh, we do have a page now. Should be we should be able to access that page here. Let's uh, open the console and check it out. Perfect. This is from product. So that means our uh, product's routing is working really, really nice and cute and easily. And uh, if you face problem with routing, just let me know uh, with uh, your proper screenshots because routing can be um, a little bit problematic. So yeah. So now we have a route created and that works. Now we just need to sh make sure that the store setup is also working. So what I will be doing is that I will be copying and pasting the store that we did in accounts module. So store and we will do that in account module. So let's remove that and namespace true account module. So we can say Okay, that we can say products, product module, product module, okay, and we can return that. Now, since we are using that, we just need to use that in our main file. So what is the main file? Main file is inside resources.js and then we have a store.js file. So this is the main file and we just need to import that and we, ju we just need to change the module path products. That's all. And here we will make rename it to product store. And we will just use that one as well. Okay, so that's really cute and easy stuff. And here we go. Uh, you see get a module name and this is account. And here this this dot store. Now I just um, will use that test uh, test component. Now let's check it out uh, the test component row. Uh, test page here we go this is the test page now let's check it out what we have here in our state we should have two modules here you see we have account store and this can be separate definitely and then we have a product store as well so that is product module product module okay that's really nice and cute and if we check the getters you have we have two getters now account store then get module name product store get module name so we can use the similar variable inside our store different model store but we have namespace to now so that means that we can we can have our own unique custom naming that cannot be uh, uh that can be unique that has to be unique actually so yeah so we can see that our getters uh, and store everything is working really really nice so from next videos i think uh, my view just uh, setup has been done and from next videos i will be showing you uh, the uh, structure for the laravel such as the uh, uh, route validations and then service container and service and other uh, other laravel stuff like job notification blah 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 so stick with me guys because this is going to be a really large project and i will make sure and i will try to try my level best to make sure that i include all the most important topics uh, where i code it okay so thank you guys stay with me have a nice time good day